That's blue. Thought it was the same color. Yeah, it looks good, man. This is 21, right? Yep. All right, so actual handling package, Velocity Blue. It's okay, 10, 10 already. Nice cup cup twos. Yeah, so guys, we're here with Jake Teasley. Go check him out on YouTube. This is his new Velocity Blue handling package 2021, right? Yep, 2021. So congratulations. Everybody's buying Mach 1s now. Yep. So uh, yeah, go check him out on YouTube. But I'm going to spin you around, and we're going to take a look at his handling package car versus mine. Remember, mine was a base car-ish with a 700A and all the options, but didn't have the handling package from Ford. So I added all the pieces after the fact. I want to cover in this video the price difference between the two. Anyway, we're going to take a look and see what the differences are because there are some things that even I don't have. You have these pieces. Yes. So mine comes with, mine is supposed to have those. You're supposed to have those. They come in the mail separately. Right. This was owned before, before I got it. How many miles are on it? 400. Oh, it's brand new. Yeah. Okay. So, but wherever the package is for these, they're not in this car. So I'm gonna have to order these. Okay. It's an HP car, right? Yep. So real quick, mine, I've added these. We added the wheels. I put, uh, he's got the cup two tires. I did the Michelin Pop 4S, but the same width, the 305 and the 315. And then I've added, like we were talking about, the rear spats here, the little mud flap things. And then he has them as well. Okay, and then the spoiler itself, remember I bought mine and then we had it painted to match, but I left the gurney flap gloss black on mine. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like you wanna, yeah, you wanna check that out? Yeah, that cool. So that way it contrasts, that. yeah. I thought that it was this yeah. was the way it should have come yeah. because it contrasts with the with a little bit of the gloss and then the satin uh, magnetic here. Aside from that, now mine is ESS, supercharged centrifugal we're actually the first one in the world if you guys missed that video click on the cards above check out all the crazy content on the ess kit on this car it is nuts but there's some things that lie underneath of the skin that the handling package has come with it i don't even have yet we did add the front splitter here and uh i think that is about it exterior wise but yeah if you can pop your hood those wheels are the best right they are man i love them so he's got factory HP wheels, and then mine are yeah, the still Ford. Yeah. The sticker, it has a red painted option. Okay. Um, the Recaro seat option. This is the HP, so it does have engine oil cooler. Yes. Cooler. The cool thing is that they're basically GT350s yeah. under the skin. The yeah. suspension, the oil cooling system and all that is all GT350. The coolers here, here, transmission, and then the diff cooler. But you get, yeah, it's got magnetic ride, but these, you can kind of see in here, actually have caster camber plates. Uh -huh. There's, they may or may not be installed yet, mm -hmm. but they're supposed to have them. And then mine... Actually looks the same. So it's supposed to be an option that comes with the cars, but the problem the is that supply and demand, a lot of the stuff was like shipping after the fact. Really? That may be why you don't have your um, your fender trim there. All of these cars are freaking nuts, yeah. dude. I, I, I read an article today that said that the, this beat the GT350R on track. On the track. Yeah. And I was driving by, I just canceled the order today because, so what I did from Levittown, I ordered, the wheels, GT350R, steering wheel, shift knob, and then I was going to do the Ford Performance Track suspension on my 2015 Mustang GT. Yeah. Upgrade. Just upgrade the 15. Yeah. Okay. After I looked at how much money I was spending, it's just, it's too much involved to really get it up to this. To bag. build a 15 Mustang to this. Yeah, it's just a lot. It's a lot of money. For the digital dash, there's just too much electronics that are all. Yeah. You'll spend, that. you'll spend 15, 20 there's grand no trying to replicate to, it. Yeah. And then it's not worth anything after you build it as much as it would be just buying them off one and the good thing is the supply and demand because here's the thing yeah. at, at the time that people are watching this video if they don't have their orders in for 2022 yeah. handling package mach 1 yeah. they may never get it anyway there's a big difference between the cost so from the factory this would have been a 20 or i'm sorry this would have been like a 35 3700 option i think it is with the handling package yeah. i've probably spent closer to 45 or so i'll have to break it down in this video yeah oh you have the sheet yeah Sweet. So he's got the Recaro 700A trim. So I don't think this is a special order. Special order card. So 700A, I don't know what that is. 10 speed auto. The handling package is 3750. 3750, okay, there we go. Confirms. So Mach 1 Elite package is 1550, which I don't even know what that is. That's B&O audio. Okay. I don't have that. Yeah, that's nice to have. Red though. painted calipers. 
And then the Ricaros. 65, yeah. 130 is the sticker. 65. Mine was just under 61. But I don't have 37.50 is what it costs for the handling package from Ford. I don't have that. I just did my own. I think that's a perfect, it is. is a deal for the handling package. It is because, right, because I've spent more than that replicating it on my own. And then, wait, did you just have Magna Ride? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Aside from some of the trim, the wheels, and a little bit of uh, suspension tuning itself and the Magna Ride just for the sway bar, because your rear sway bar, I think, is a little different than mine as well. Okay, spring rates? Spring rates are the Sorry. same, I believe. Okay. Cooling, all that stuff is all the same, but I've spent probably a couple thousand dollars more. The advantage is that I got all the parts immediately yeah. where it looks like this one is still waiting on some stuff yeah yeah because i need that trim these are so the offset so large that trim would be yep awesome. 10 and a half inch wide front 11 a rear 305 315 and the interesting to see these are both 305s but the cup 2 is kind of like a more narrow tire yeah and then the, the uh, pilot 4s four is yeah. wider this one goes in a bit this one's square yeah this is a ps4 ps4 yeah, yeah. So there was two thousand dollars in tires, yep. you know. Yep. <laughs> so, but yeah, interior-wise, they're identical. Seven hundred A cars. He's got B and O audio. I don't, unfortunately. The lovely noises. ESS supercharged, huh? Yeah. And then you do your rev, and then I'll do this. Okay. What? Uh, do him first. This was just like mine when I bought it. Yes. Same wheels, same everything. Mm -hmm. no this, okay, so it does not have the Recaros, but it's actually more expensive than mine was. Yeah, so you have your, it's a 10 speed, which is not the reason. Okay, it's got 10 already. Um, the Mach 1, it has Elite package, which yours has Elite 2. Uh, it's got the appearance package, um, and then, yeah, your voice had to the nav. Yeah, interesting. Mine was like, 60 and some change almost 61 but this has a couple more options yeah he didn't cool seats he didn't so. cool seats a lot of guys they are just they will not give that up you know what i mean nope. especially for the money you're spending but uh, oh my gosh this is basically how my car started and then it became a handling package car on my own dollar so just kind of a cool example to see one kind of how it looked when it was stock All right, guys, we just took a test drive in this beautiful Velocity Blue new Mach 1. Jake T, so go check him out, and uh, he's going to head home and give it a wash. And then uh, we're going to pick up the rest of this video, like the individual cost of everything, me adding all the parts to mine whenever we get back home. Same video for you. Just pick it up in just one, two, three, and here we go. All right, guys, so we made it back home, and now we're going to talk in the video about like what everything costs me putting my own money into this car to make it its own, to make a own my own handling package replica, if you will. So let's start off with every individual piece. So we're gonna add it up at the end and see if it makes sense to you. Do you want to order a handling package from a factory or maybe you could find one, but if you order one, you may run into trouble getting that thing in a timely fashion. So you might just opt for a base Mach 1 if you find one and then just add on the extra parts like I have done. So yeah, let's do some math. Okay, so first of all, we have the splitter down here that is part of the handling package and it's about 600 bucks and then we're not gonna include shipping or taxes or any of that. That's all gonna be different wherever you live, but about 600 bucks here. Okay, we remove to the fender trim and that's about 300, so we're about $900 invested right there. 
We're gonna move on to these rear splash guards and about 120 for the kit. I bought them off of Levington Ford. And then we have the rear spoiler. And when it showed up, it came gloss black and it was actually already scratched, which sucks. But you know, I knew that I was gonna paint it and I had the Ford dealership that I bought the Mach 1 from paint it. So we're about a thousand dollars invested into this whole, into the spoiler and the paint. Um, but if you want to just go black, I think it's about 500 bucks or something like that, but we're trying to make a handling package. So we're going to include the paint. So a thousand bucks there. And then we have the wheels. This is the Ford performance version of the OEM wheel, the finish and fit and everything is identical. So we'll just call this OEM. And those are about $1,200 front and rear. And we have them wrapped in not the cut twos, but the Michelin pilot for S and there's another 2000. So we're looking at about $3,200 in wheel entire setup. All right, guys. So that means that we are about $5,200 invested into our own parts, making our own handling package, but we don't have everything. So between a base car and a handling package car, they are pretty much identical minus the parts that we've already added up. But there's a couple of differences between the two. So the handling package car gets, I believe, a different rear sway bar. It's just a little bit set up different. The tuning for the magnetic ride is slightly revised. And my guess would be mostly due to the fact that we have, you know, wider wheels and tires and a different rear sway bar outside of that. I don't think that there's any major difference there. So, but we also do not have, and I think it's a 300 to $350 option is the caster camera plates that come with the handling package car. So you just add that too. So you might be $5,500 in all set and done if you do this by yourself. Okay. So that means that we are about 17 to $1,800 over what handling package from Ford would actually cost. So I don't think that that's necessarily that much, that big of a deal because we don't have to wait. We didn't have to wait on anything. We didn't have to wait on supply and demand issues from Ford getting the handling package. We just went with the base, did it ourselves and about $1,800 over the price of a handling package car to do it ourselves. So, I mean, yes, I had to come out of pocket, do it myself instead of financing. But I mean, all in, all said and done, it's really not that big of a deal. I get, we have a smaller payment. Remember, we have a smaller payment because we had a base car. I spent my own money, did it myself. That's not wrapped up into a payment. And uh, after the fact, we were about 5,500 bucks, or I'm sorry, 52, because we don't have the caster camera plates and the sway bar and all that. But that's about the math, if you guys think about it. And you can do your own. Again, shipping, taxes, all that's going to dictate. It's going to be determined on where you live and so on and so forth. So yeah, I don't think that uh, it's a bad deal at all. I mean, if you are on the hunt for a Mach 1 just in general and you can't find a handling package car, but you really want one, you could do it yourself. And this is about what it would cost is about that ballpark under six grand. Mustang 6G, for example, dot com. There is a ton of, there's a bunch of threads on there. There's a bunch of people talking about it. And there is a parts list that people are adding to because some of the, there's some discrepancies with the parts, but I think it's current. I think it's up to date and uh, you guys can go check it out. If I can find it, I'll link it down below, but if not, just go explore mustang60.com and uh, it's got like the, all the different parts and part numbers and cost and so on and so forth. But that is at the end of the day, about the difference between the two cars. And uh, I'm, you know, basically we have a handling package car just on my own dollar. Another good thing is if I were to ever sell this car, these parts, these OEM parts are probably going to add a little bit of value for the next buyer. So that is maybe something to think about too. But hopefully this video, you know, you found it a little bit informative and fun and it'll help you out in some way. Just things that you might expect, just some finances that you might expect, the differences between the two, hard parts and cost, and so on and so forth. But guys, get ready for the next video. We have more mods coming to this Mach 1 here very soon. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.